Hi, this is the weekly horoscope for Cancer for the week of November 20th, 2023. Hello, my fabulous crabs. Show your love and support and make sure to like, subscribe, and share. And of course, happy Thanksgiving to everybody in the state celebrating Thanksgiving on the 22nd, um, the 902 a.m. 902 a.m. 902 a.m. The sun enters Sagittarius in your sixth house of daily routine and pets. Then on November 24th, 5.15 a.m., uh, Mars enters Sagittarius. So Monday, there's lots of energy happening still in your fifth house. You still have a stellum. Pallas now enters into your fifth house. So you can be more about your social life. Volcanus is in retrograde in the sign of Leo That for the next, like, while. But Volcanus is staying in Leo for like the next 73, 72 years. So squaring palace in your fifth house, you're restructuring your life. Or if you have been feeling burnt out on your routine or dealing with the social media, you can be experimenting with new ideas or you can be taking your creativity and moving it into a different direction. This is a time where you need to delve more into your creativity because you are being blocked with this energy because you're more about your heavy responsibilities at this time. So this would be a great time to delve more into something creative like a hobby and to be more in tune with your inner child. Or you could be dealing with your money worries or certain things out of your control. So this would be a great time to go back and be more in tune to your inner child and learn to have fun again. For others of you, this could be a situation where you're micromanaging a good time instead of focusing on the moment and being in the moment and being about the journey with this energy. So you're going to get burnt out like that as you're going on this creative journey so be careful with that friends may be more compassionate and helpful you may get a lot of invitations to join other social occasions than usual for some of you you can be part of a group or organization you can be more about your activism or joining a union or you could be part of a protest this week and you can be part of like people getting organized, like making signs, um, getting people organized. This could be a great time for group endeavors or teamwork makes the dream work when it comes to goals. Jupiter in retrograde in your 11th house is forming a kite energy. Um, this could be joining a group or organization this week that makes you feel like different or you could be making some radical changes in your life and really stepping out of your comfort zone. A lot of people may not agree with your decision making at this time or your life choices. Um, for some of you, you could be changing your major instead of going or changing the college that you want to go to. Um, so don't expect everybody to be happy with your life choices at this time. So expect there to be some repercussions from the changes that you're making. This could also be like other family members disowning you or not on speaking terms with you for right now um, because of your decisions. This could be dealing with like media and social media and people could feel like you're a sellout or if you're like an entertainer and people could feel like you're selling out with this energy because you're moving into a different genre. You're trying new things and seeing what works and what doesn't work. For some of you, this could be actually quitting your job and looking for a better paying job. This can be a time period of growth with career. It's not going to be like fast growth because we have planets in retrograde in your 10th house and then also in your first house. So this is not fast fast growth at this time, but it's growth, okay, nonetheless. And you have that stellum, you have that energy happening in Taurus helping you along Ooh, excuse me, this week with this energy. So this could be like schedule scheduling for something for next year for you after the holidays. Okay, so there are promises being made to you, but I feel like this is gonna be after the holidays that you're gonna see these um, lessons or things that you're gonna learn, um, training that you're gonna receive next year. Okay, so the beginning of next year could be filled with excitement, and new experiences for you, just not right now, okay? And especially in the month of February, because you're only going to have two planets in the sign of Cancer that are still gonna be in retrograde, but it's gonna help move things along because the less planets are in retrograde, the better off we are when it comes to movement, okay? And show your love and support to your girl, Marie, and make sure to like, subscribe, and share, okay? Because this is a lot of work, a lot of content, and you know, I can't control the aspects 
And this week is really difficult energy, which I'll talk about on my daily horoscopes. On November 22nd at 9.02 a.m., the sun enters Sagittarius in the 6th house, forming a fire trine with the 2nd, 6th, and 10th house. This could be new exciting responsibilities coming up. You're super focused or you're preparing for Thanksgiving and super focused on getting things done around the home and food prep. For others of you, you could be starting a new project, an easier time to focus and see things all the way through. You can feel better organized and on top of things you may advance in your career and take on more responsibilities your superiors see you as reliable and dependable this could also be business picking up you can be receiving some much needed confidence as others are giving you compliments about your creative endeavors or this could be like for some of you here like what you do if you like sell like your little ho like hobbies like knitting things or making things you know others could be giving you compliments or trying to push you into selling them you can feel more connected to your inner child now because you're starting to be more creative that re reawakens your inner child also this could be a creative play with children in general and you can be excited because someone could be making you in charge of a creative project at this time and this could be a situation where you're learning something new and it's very creative and you could be taking it to home those of you in college in the arts you know you could be learning something a new um, creative project at school and you could be taking what you learn and you could be continuing doing it because you like the way it makes you feel okay so this could be like a hobby for Thanksgiving or while you're on Thanksgiving vacation, you could be taking like a creative project that you're working on in school and continue working on it. On the 23rd, you do have a T-square happening with the 5th, 8th, and 11th house. This could be whoever has to leave your life. Let them leave your life. This could also be a breakup or ending of an important relationship. Your circle of friends seem to be changing now and old friends say goodbye. Changes in your ability to acquire things and income can be expected. Be careful about investments now because they're likely um, not not to be what they expected it or what you expected it to be children can be difficult and difficult to predict or suffer unusual behavioral problems there is a lot of pressure on your freedom of self-expression some become interested in volunteer work and helping those who are less fortunate than themselves others of you you you're not going to get anything done this week because you're on vacation your relationships with it within your family are likely to be quite harmonious um, as home life becomes more pleasant and convenient, this produces a peaceful environment that ha is helpful and nurturing. It tends to produce warm, cozy feelings in your relationships with others. It is a good time for socializing, but usually you prefer private parties. You could be more family-oriented at this time with this energy here. A lot of you, especially those of you who are 30 and up, you may prefer to be to stay at home rather than visit friends. Or those of you in your 20s, you may prefer to entertain at home rather than go out. On the 24th, something at this time, something like violent, and I don't mean like physical violence, I mean like a structure in your way of thinking, it, your snow globe is gonna be shooketh okay at this time somebody is going to shake your snow globe or this could be like a lot of epiphanies and self-realizations at this time that are going to hit you kind of hard with this energy here and you could be forced to defend certain ways of thinking or belief structures in your life this week lawsuits should be avoided or settled out of court those of you in your 40s you could find your social circle of friends is changing as you are growing and evolving as well. You can be going through a midlife crisis. You can be more about your social life. You can be hanging around younger people at this time, making some life changes here. Um, whatever you were you, you didn't get to do when you were younger, now you could be like making up for it, doing your bucket list. For others of you, you could be finding yourself spending more time with younger people. Your boss may seem overly demanding and unreasonable about deadlines. You probably feel overloaded and overstressed for some of you. Be careful with jealous butts. Other people can start to get very competitive with you or start copying what you're doing. Or someone can be feeling very you're making somebody feel very insecure and they could feel like they're you're getting from for your job this could also be with the social media and somebody could be feeling very insecure that way okay so be careful with other people the first card to come up with is the ten of wands you could be taking
taking on more responsibilities this week, but you kind of like that. You do like being busy, so work can be very busy for some of you, and you can be happy, optimistic, and bubbly for others of you. You're taking care of other family members this week, and you're being more about them. So for some of you, you may or may not like that, okay, with this energy, all right? So you could be about other people's agendas. The Five of Wands, as I connect with this energy here, I feel like for some of you here, um, you may have a difficult time grasping certain things that you're learning at this time. I see learning disabilities, or I see that you have a different way of learning a new thing that's happening at work. So it might take a while before you really get a knack for it or you get comfortable with whatever it is that you're learning. The Knight of Coins, the mind on the money and the money on the mind. For some of you here, this could be getting a second or third job at this time. This could also be money worries coming up with this energy as well. The Devil card brings about endings for you with this energy for others of you when the devil cards on this side um this is a time to be very indulgent at this time you can be getting lit more than usual you could be partying more than usual so my 20 year olds you could be out and about more than usual with this energy here as well and then those of you in my 40s going through your midlife crisis cheers bitches you are really going through it at this time the the cups this deals with emotional validation you could be receiving some much needed good news you could be receiving confirmation or predictions that you made for other people or calling a situation before it happens the three of cup i see um you getting a lit a lot more than usual be careful with um overindulgence with drugs or alcohol for others of you this could be dealing with infidelities with this energy as well all righty the nine of coins talks of traveling for some of you this could be a move happening the focus could be on property matters with this energy the um tower card traveling okay of course it's thanksgiving weekend for some of you you could be a workaholic but i feel like you like that and i do see you being happy and bubbly and optimistic for others of you this could be a great week where business is picking up because we do have some fire trines happening with the moon in aries this week okay and the planets moving into sagittarius the three of wands talks of growth happening this is a time of moving forward and not um looking back you're healed you're over situations um in your life at this time and this is a time where you can move forward for others of you this could be getting freelance work this could be dealing with writers for some of you this is a great time for business picking up with this energy as well um the six of swords this is time for your new normal expect delays when traveling of course because of the because of the weather and the planes you know and all that good stuff okay the seven of coins something heavy on your mind with this energy here so i feel like you need to trust your intuition at this time okay the five of coins have faith that some that things are going to work itself out be careful this week you could be dealing with unexpected expenditures things could be um getting broken down at this time with this energy so be careful with your money this week for some of you this could be you know check your furnaces and stuff like that and just to be cautious and on the safe side because again things could be breaking down this could be dealing with weather with this energy as well all right the wheel of fortune card expect the unexpected there could be a turn of events and certain things may no longer apply in your life all right so know that all righty and they might it might cost you money all righty um yeah so just be careful this week i do feel like for some of you, you could be going to a concert or some kind of festival or even some kind of party cruise with this energy so this is a fun energy time for you as well the chariot card i see fate intervening so you have like a lot of um unexpected happenings coming up for you for better or for worse because energy is energy so go with the flow and you know things are here to help us evolve and to grow and to become a better version of ourselves the two of swords be careful of impulsive decisions at this time for some of you if you have been sitting on the fence about certain things in your life now you could be making a decision yes or no um, for others of you something that you've been wanting for a very long time is going to come to fruition this week the five of swords for some of you here you can be intimidated into doing certain things you don't want to do um, with certain people for others of you I see you winning a conflict I see a tit for tat going on 
and you could be um, getting back at somebody or it could be a situation with the universe and you could be watching somebody go through the same exact situation that you went through and having the same exact problem that you had and getting yelled at and you're like there okay so it could be like something not working at work and you getting in trouble for it or like I said I saw learning disabilities it could be that this person may have the same problem too and may not understand as well and then you could find yourself feeling like you know I should pick up on you or I should get start giving you a part time so you may get your your apology from this person okay for some of you I feel like there could be drama around you at this time so try to stay on the right side of the law try to stay out of all the busyness of other people because I feel like certain people in your life could be a little bit too much you know and doing the most at this time and it's like why why are we doing this? I feel like for others of you, you could be dealing with trials and tribulations at this time, um, ups and downs in your life, which is life, and that's okay. So just be prepared for it. For some of you here, this could be dealing with betrayal. So I would be careful with that, with this energy. This is not the time to gossip and talk about yourself or talk about things that you don't want to want to be repeated at this time the um, four of coins you can be working on saving your money you're more about your financial security at this time the knight of wands new beginnings new people coming into your life with this energy here try to relax and go with the flow because you could be on eggshell when it comes to work because you want really want to do well at this time okay so don't beat yourself up with things that you are not understanding because I feel like you know other people are not going to understand it too once they start seeing what you're doing and they're like oh you know um, for some of you this could be an adventure for the holidays so you know your your week could be pretty interesting for some of you this could be an exciting time for a lifestyle change new cultural influences the um, three of coins I feel you can be more about your social life I feel like other people in your life take the neck and they tell the head exactly what it is that they wanted to do and you do it so I would be careful with this energy here I do see success in financial investments with this energy as well the six of wands I feel like this is an optimistic energy time for you this is a beautiful time for moving forward with career with this energy this could also be a popular energy time for you the emperor card I feel like you're not making a decision as a way to manipulate a situation in your life um, I feel like for others of you you could be dealing with father or a dominating male in your life with this energy and this person could be calling the shots with this energy here as well I do see stability coming in your life or creating stability in your life and wanting more financial Security. For some of you, certain people in your life may need more convincing when it comes to certain things that you are doing, okay? So this correlates with the astrology because other people are not, you're either really not communicating what you're doing with other people because it could be a situation for those of you in college, for those of you in your 20s, that it could be a situation where you are making decisions because based on the heart, okay and you're kind of following love and you don't want to say so much because yeah I see you don't worry I see you you don't want to say too much because you don't want to hear the lecture or you don't you know that your parents would not approve of the choices that you're making because you're kind of like following your heart it's not really based on logic for some of you okay for some of you here this is a time where you're very aggressive with the social media when it comes to popularity with this energy or when it comes to work you're making it a point to be liked by everybody here and to get along with everybody you could be making successful moves a great time for those of you networking with this energy here the three of swords there's a turn of events that's going to reconnect you with people from your past this can be an emotionally confusing time period for some of you here as well with this energy I do see some endings coming up at this time okay and know that you know change is a good thing all right so don't take it personal all righty some of you could get god forbid fired with this energy for others of you could have tantrums and tiaras and up and quit a job because you don't like the way they're treating you 
okay? And now it's like the straw that broke the camel's back is what I'm seeing, and you're just like, I've had enough. For some of you, this is success in freelance writing. The Queen of Swords, I feel like there's a divorce coming up or an ending happening that's not just going to impact you, but it's going to impact people around you at this time with this energy here. I do feel like people could be nasty with this energy. So if you have to leave a situation, just leave. The Temperance card, I feel like you can definitely be more about your sanity. A naughty boy or a naughty girl is going to reconnect with you. All righty. Um... And I feel like for some of you here that you could be making a point to um, not get lit or to sober up at this time. Or for some of you here, especially those of you in college finishing your, your last term for the winter, you could be making a point to buckle down and study and kind of get ahead of your work before going back to school. So you could be taking school a lot seriously. And while you're on Thanksgiving vacation, you could be making a point to study harder um, with this energy and the page of coins i feel with this energy here that other people find you to be very reliable at this time with this energy here i see more responsibilities coming to you but i feel like you're volunteering those responsibilities again you like to keep busy for some of you, you could be reinventing yourself as well like night and day somebody could be telling you what's wrong with you and for you to grow and you could be changing you could be revamping your social media page at this time or revamping your website with this energy as well okay Alrighty, I love you, my crabs. Show your love and support to your girl Marie by liking, subscribing, and sharing.